Well, first of all, uh, you guys got a chance to see an entertaining football game because uh, many of you probably didn't expect that, but I mean, explain to people, we got a good football team. And we got to believe that. But once that belief kick in, Spartans going to be hard to deal with this year. And we got a chance to put a lot of people on notice. I'm proud of these guys, the coaches, our program. Uh, we came a long way. We came up one point, one point short. But what I tell our guys is that I can be excited for victory. I'm humble and lost because I always try to find the positives. Uh, we ran the football, and for the most part of the game, we stopped the run. Uh, we held a really good football team in check for the most of the game, and we was in a football game all the way to the to the last horn. Uh, we didn't make a few plays. They made a few plays in the second half, and we battled back, and we just came away a little short. I went for two because I felt like uh, a lot of guys started cracking. So don't know if we'd have had enough of gas to finish that football game. But when you make that penalty, our offense had been playing well, and um, I can live with that decision. Because uh, we didn't come down here to play a football game. We came down here to win a football game. And that's the mindset that I've always coached with, and that's the mindset I want our guys to play with. And even though we was one point short, three things I told them we had to we had to do in order to give ourselves a chance. We had to win the penalty battle. Uh, that was probably close. We had to win the turnover battle, and I think we did that. And we had to play with unbelievable effort. And one thing I know, anybody that watched this game, they cannot question the effort of these young men. And that's what I'm most proud of because we owe that to the people that paid to watch them play, is to play with great effort. And I thought they did that tonight. Okay, we'll take questions for the student athletes. We're gonna start in the back to, with Mr. Ricks, Black Hat. Stick to them with the ladies, please. Ernest Ricks, MTMV Sports. Um, Kevin, is this question for you? Um, going into this game, um, what did you see on film that allowed you to just make the moves that you made and, and basically take advantage of the running lanes that you did tonight? So basically, I was just trusting my trusting the process and watching film with uh, with my coaches and executing the plays. Thank you. Thank you. How much? How much confidence did you guys have in the, in the two-part conversion from Lake Hall again? I'm trusting my coach fully, so whatever he, whatever decision he make, I'm going to ride Jake McDonald, Call 360 Sports. Uh, I'm interested in understanding uh, the running game definitely was working. Uh, I'm, I'm a little w I'm wondering why there weren't any more passes. I mean, it was only back to four in the first half. Well, you um, I mean, I don't know, guys. I mean, what, what is, is it? I mean, what were you watching? I mean, it's, if somebody can't stop something, why would you go to something else? We literally ran the ball down the HBCU National Champs' throat tonight. We booted them up and down the field all night long in the running game. So why would we why would we stop? I mean, I don't have no stat sheet, but I'm quite sure our, our rushing yards are something they're not accustomed to. If you go look at the stats from a year ago, they went top 10 in all categories when it comes to defense. But I've always said with our football team is that we believe we can run the football on anybody. I mean, I think our offensive line is one of the best in the country. I think our offensive coaches do a great job and I think our offensive coordinator said, <laughs> we'll take them five yards and we'll take them 10 yards. But when you can run the football like that, that's why we was in this ball game. We kept the ball game close. We controlled the time of possession. We played winning football. Winning football ain't pretty, but it's winning football. Football is all about giving your team the best chance to win week in and week out. And some weeks you can run the ball, some weeks you might have to throw the ball. But tonight, the running game gave us a chance to win a football game. 
And I'm proud of these guys and how they ran it because that's a that's an emotion that you got to deal with. Because I coach on defense. When somebody can run the football, it's tough to deal with because you got to go and do some soul searching because that's pride. So just a reminder, we are asking questions to the student athletes. In the back, Vaughn. And the gentleman in the back shirt next to you. Vaughn Wilson, Capital Outlook, HBCU Game Day. Guys, the story of last year for Norfolk State, the record, you know, said one thing, but all those one score games. But this one was a little different. You know, I would I would say, I, I, would you all agree with me that this was just a little bit different? This was a, a little bit closer in this first two athlete. Yes, sir. They ain't going to say too much. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an answer? Okay. Last year, we ain't, we ain't dominate as much as we did this year, man. I feel like we was more disciplined, but we ain't we didn't finish as disciplined as we started. So that's what's the difference from this year and last year. Um, I'm Justin Favors from Tomorrow Little Sports Network. Um, this question is for Kevin King. Uh, you finished the game with 146 rushing yards. How do you how does that affect your uh, the confidence going into the season after this game? Um, my confidence has boosted a lot because I trust in my O line and trust my reads. Any additional questions for the athletes? All right. Um, I don't expect an extended answer, but um, what would be um, if you kind of had to walk away with something that you're most proud of? Right. I know that it was a tough loss, but if you had to walk away with things that you're most proud of tonight, what would that be? I would be most proud of us, uh, staying as a team. I'd say the same thing. To the end of the day afterwards, stay together. Still better than the end of the day. Thank you. Question right here. Blue shirt. Rocky Miller, HBC Coaches Corner. Um, as you guys were preparing for this upcoming game, this is to the players. Were you guys concerned about the speed and athleticism that family presented today? No, sir. It wasn't one athlete that was better than our athletes. We just, they, they was more disciplined than us today. Coach Cole from HBC Coach's Corner. How you doing, Coach? How you doing, Coach Cole? Guys, uh, I know you guys was playing with, uh, I guess, an inexperienced quarterback, using your top guy. How much did that hurt you tonight, and how much did the game plan circle around where we do got to be very successful at running football. It really didn't hurt us because we believe in him. Like, he's a very, very good quarterback. Yeah, if y'all was at the, if y'all was allowed to be at the, the fall camps and y'all would have saw how good Dale Jones is, we have no worry about what he can do. And yeah, y'all gonna see what he can do. And yeah, that's all. Okay. All right, thank you guys. <clears throat> All right, questions for coach. Just a reminder, please raise your hand so that we can see it and wait for the mic before you ask a question. In the corner back there, Earl. Uh, Earl Kitchens, quarter five back awards. Coach, how would you rate Jalen Daniels tonight being that he had to come in the way he did because he, he looked real polished. Now, how would you rate him on the way he played tonight? I don't know what I expected. Uh, I didn't have no problem with him being the starting quarterback. It's just, it's all in-house. So when you guys on the outside, I know you want a story. Um, I know you're looking for a story. But Jay Daniels is a good quarterback. It's, I mean, what did he show you tonight that, that didn't resemble a good quarterback? Um, our offense didn't have one turnover. We were pretty good on third down. We moved the ball up and down the field. Um, we executed in the red zone. Uh, the difference in this field in this game was a field goal. We 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 missed the field goal. We had an extra point block that led to me going for two as well. So you look at all those things, and I think for his first start for the Spartans, he's only going to grow from that and gain confidence. You know. I know you, you probably want to know why we didn't spread the ball around and push it down the field, and but 
it wasn't the game plan. The game plan always changes based on what you're able to do. And one of the reasons I hired Coach Phillips is because he understands that when things are going a certain way, we don't have to change. We're not just calling plays to call plays. It's, it's up to them to stop us. And I thought he put our quarterback in a good position. When it was third and long, we didn't press to try to, you know, push the ball down the field. We, we called a game that allowed our football team to play as a team. A couple blunders in special teams, but other than that, I thought our football team played well for a lot of the unknowns, because this was an unknown football game. I had a lot of question marks, new offensive coordinator, new defensive coordinator, new head coach, who calling plays, what they doing, how they doing it. Uh, uh, 50 new players or so on the football team, and it was a lot of unknowns, but for our football team to come into an environment with a lot of unknowns and play up to a the speed of the national champions and the defending national champions and give ourselves a chance to win a football game. I thought we took the next step. And I told them, we're going to find out. Y'all don't have to keep asking. We're going to find out if the Spartans are able to compete at the highest level of HBCU football. And you all decide what grades you're going to give and how you go about doing that. But we have our grades as well. We're going to go to the back, Coach. How you doing, Coach? Uh, Reggie Chapman, 11 Live TV here in Atlanta. Yes. Um, this event here in Atlanta, um, obviously maybe not the result you wanted, but just the opportunity to come here, be in this environment, situation. Um, what can you say about just being here in Atlanta, how important it is for um, HBCU Athletics to have events like this here in the city? First of all, what they have done with the MEAC SWAT Challenge is giving us a platform. Norfolk State was in the homes of people that don't even know where Norfolk State located. I looked at it today and I was watching and it said we was minus 13. I was like, what they basing that on? That one thing about people, they always think about last year. If we base everything on last year, how good are we going to really be this year? I know last year, you know, I was a little bit up in my weight, but this year I'm down. <laughs> so I, I don't understand it, but I, I understand it. But at the end of the day, I just think that we have a Great platform here in Atlanta. And we have a chance to showcase it. We, we gave our guys an unbelievable experience. We took them to the King Center. We took them to the Hall of Fame. And because I believe that the impact is greater than just being football players. Uh, these guys are going to represent our communities, and we want them to be great fathers and great husbands. And we have a chance to do that at HBCUs, where a lot of people don't. So we, don't, we take our time, and we invest it in these young men. And hopefully we'll get a thank you later in life because we do it for them. Okay, coach, to your left over here. Coach, um, I'm pleased to say this was a great game, and I would, I would like to say, my name is Wisdom Anderson, ESPN, AM 1300 Zone, iHeart Media, Austin, Texas. What does the result of a game like this do to propel you forward through the rest of the season? You just gotta look at where you came up short and try not to make those mistakes again and put yourself in a position to come up on the W side of these contests. Yeah, we knew it was going to be challenging. We knew we was playing against a football team that, that know how to win. And we want this game to come down to the fourth quarter and give ourselves a chance to win. Uh, but we don't like losing. But what I always try to get people to understand is that somebody is going to win this football game and somebody's going to lose it. Tonight, we were that somebody that lost. But if we learn from it, we're always winning. And that's the thing I always tell our players. What did we learn from this game and how can we grow from it? Because we got a long season and we feel like we can get a lot better and we can play a lot better. Well, it starts with our belief. I think that's what it starts. Jared Hoffman, HBCUsports.com. Coach, you talked about you know the play of your offensive line. Everybody's going to look at Kavon King and see all of his rushing yards and touchdowns that he scored. But talk about the offensive line and the job that he, they did to create those open lanes for him to be successful tonight. Well, it don't happen without them. And I've talked about the strength of our football team on offense is our offensive line. 
And when you hear fam, you talk about their offense. They said the strength of their offense is their offensive line. Well, I also think we're pretty good on the defensive line. And they're pretty good on the defensive line. So this game was about adjustments. And I thought our offensive guys made great adjustments. So when we came out in the third quarter, we took some shots. Uh, they were stacking the box, so we pushed the ball down the field. Uh, it, it's all about numbers. You, you know, it's only 11 guys can go out there. So, I mean, they're going to put six on one side of the field. So if you're running the football, you, you always run with the numbers in your favor. Or you try to get the numbers in your favor. So that's where you get the plus one running game with the quarterback. You're always trying to do things to manipulate the defense. You're trying to move their eyes. You're trying to create lanes. Both offenses were trying to do the same thing. Um, but one just made a couple plays more than the other one to win the football game. But they were pretty identical. They really wanted to run the football, but they couldn't run the football. So they opened it up with the short intermediate passing game, crossing routes, hitches. They hit us with an over route. So when you look at those things, it balances itself out. That's why it's a one-point game. That's why it's a close football game, because when you look at it, both teams were evenly matched. That's why the entertainment was great for tonight's game and and hopefully that people saw that our program is is one to deserve recognition and credit for where we're going because we're going uh, we're going some places. Uh, last two questions right here and then in the back. Coach Jake McDonald, Core 360 Sports. It's kind of a two part question. Two part question. One, uh, did Fanny do anything different than you expected them to do? And the second part is your defensive line looked like they were able to get pressure, but they just couldn't get them down when they needed to. They did a lot of the stuff that we saw on film from a year ago. And the the quarterback, he's a he's a heady football player. He don't look like it, but he's a heady football player. He's played a lot of snaps. So his experience is is something that you have to take into account when it comes to playing the position. Um, but I, I really thought that they were well coached. Um, some of the stories you heard about their teams last year. Uh, they were better disciplined than they were a year ago. And as you can see, both teams were, were fairly low in penalties. We pride ourselves on being disciplined. And uh, I really respect where their program is and, and how much success they had. And I felt like our guys came to compete at a high level. Uh, they're, they're a good football team. They're going to get better. They're still trying to figure out the pieces and how to put those pieces together. But they have some players. They have some players. Uh, but we do too, and that's what I'm more focused on is how can we become better and get better each and every day. Ernest Rex, MTMB Sports. Coach, was there something about um, FAMU that you saw previously that gave you all the, the approach to come in running the football as much as you did, or is that just your offensive identity? We can run the football on anybody. We believe that. All I believe that. And you stack the box, we believe we can throw the football at anybody. We just believe we have people that can make plays all over the field. It's just, what are you willing to give up? And that's the thing about playing defense in today's game. It's hard to stop everything. Uh, did you watch Georgia Tech play Florida State? Uh, you made a lot of money had you probably put it on Georgia Tech. <laughs> yeah, but nobody, nobody made that bet. Not a lot of people <laughs> made that bet. They might have picked them, you know, but that's what this game offers you. It offers you an opportunity for the unbelievable to take place, the unexpected to happen. Because young men go out and they get better and they develop. And that's what happened. That's what you saw tonight. You saw a football team that developed in the offseason, that got bigger, that got stronger, that became closer together. And they played like a football team. And when you play like a football team, you're going to always have a chance to win football games. Now, we got to taste victories, and we're going to. We're going to taste victories this year. We, we want to be in the conversation in November because everybody know our conference is decided in November. So, you know, we got to play the gauntlet. Well, we broke our gauntlet up this year. We only got four late in the year because we're going to play North Carolina Central early. So we know what we got to do and the challenges we face to get there, and we feel like we got a chance. As long as we stay healthy and keep working, or want to know every day, trusting the process and believing in each other, we like our chances. Thank you.